October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and about 75% of cases are estrogen receptor positive. That means it's a type of breast cancer in which estrogen levels help cancerous cells grow. But now, a new discovery could revolutionize treatment. Long Island reporter Jennifer McLogan spoke with researchers in Nassau County. Amid the sprawling campus of Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory, a scientific breast cancer study is generating attention. More younger women are developing breast cancer. Uh, they, are, they tend to develop the most aggressive subtypes. Professor Camilo Dos Santos hopes a breakthrough in making tumors more treatable will save lives. To her team's surprise, researchers were able to inhibit gene protein in mice, slowing even stopping estrogen receptor positive breast cancers. We are studying what the chains that the breast undergoes during puberty. It begins early on and will follow individuals. Many patients enter remission only to see breast cancer return in a form that can't be treated with hormone therapy. Tumors that were estrogen hormone negative, now they become estrogen hormone positive, and then we can treat them with tamoxifen. No matter how many years go by, that fear of a recurrence will never leave us. So if they find a cure and if they are able to stop recurrences, then it would mean the world. Breast cancer survivors Susan Cohen and Janine Mullen of Pink Aid Long Island see a future of positivity. To not have to worry about going through breast cancer again, going through uh, the trials and tribulations, the treatment, the emotional, the physical pain. We may be found a way that then allows any subtypes of cancer to be treated first to make them more susceptible to targeted therapies and then prevent metastatic disease from happening. A mission of realized dreams continues, tweaking codes for warning signs and earlier diagnosis before feeling a lump or seeing anything on a mammogram or ultrasound. On Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS News, New York.